Welcome to episode two of Birding with Terry and Taylor. Bird Was I supposed to say something? Yeah. You can, what do you want to say? No, it's fine. You do it so much better. Well, tell than us I what this episode is about. I don't know. I'm waiting for you to tell me. Okay, this episode is about river birds. Oh, riverine birds. That's why we had spring up key, so. So, episode two, we're going to focus on river birds, bulls, beaks, fruit. fruit, trees, food, all sorts of goodness, and we hope you enjoy it. I heard Taylor. it. I heard it. Did you hear it? Yeah. Go, 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 go. Oh, I don't know. You show me the way. Go, go, go. Huh? Just the thorn. Thank the thorn. you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Come look. Come look. I think it was coming from that side. This book is so big. Why did you? Why did you bring that one? I didn't know there was a smaller one. Much better. This one's got so much information. It does have a lot of information. But you know what else is quite handy? Is to have a bird app. Look at this. Oh my god, that's this whole book. The entire book. On the phone? Yeah, then you don't even need to take a book. Robert, you genius. Okay. Woodland. Woodland. Yes. Woodland. Very important. It's not Wood. woodlands with an S. It's woodland, singular. Kingfisher or kingfishers. Kingfishers. And I think maybe we might even find some of their nests. Where? Well, we're in a river bed. Oh, yes, of course. So very important, when you start looking for birds, you need to look for their habitat. Yeah. And where they like to hang out. Okay. And I did see some pools of water too. Not that they only they eat insects, but you know, who doesn't like to dabble a little bit of seafood when they're on the coast? But brown hooded kingfishers, also. Insects. Insects. Oh, tricky. Giant kingfishers. Oh. Fish. Yes. And insects. Just fish. Birds just like to eat whatever they want. But hard kingfishers. Fish. Fish. All the Frogs. way. Frogs? Yeah. Mm. Kingfishers. Mm -hmm. Woodland kingfisher. Yes. Can be found in areas like this. Perfect. African green pigeons. Yep. Black headed orioles calling. Obviously. Not a black black puffback as we've mm. clearly learned. Yes. By we've we've come a long way. Come a long way. Other birds you can find here? Crested barbet. Crested barbet. Black collared barbet. Black collared barbet. I like those barbets. They are, they're really nice. They've got a beautiful call. Cool. They do have a beautiful I call. I sounded like a black collared barbet. Keep working on it, you never know. There are also different types of Franklins and Spurfowls. As we've learned, the friendly Franklins yes. that frequent this Karongwe River. They do, they do. How's that for alliteration? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm So when birding, it's super important yes. that we know that the type of bird we're looking for has a specific habitat. That's right. And one of the ways that you can do that is actually just by looking at the shape of its beak. That thing that Terry's doing now. Anyways, certain birds have very specific diets. For example, dun dun dun, dun The African green pigeon likes to eat fruit. Beautiful bird. It is a beautiful just bird. A beautiful bird. It's called a frugivore. Like and that a bat. Yes. Well, not all because you get the Insect Please. eating bats, okay. the micro corruptor. But you're thinking of the mega corruptor. Um, anyways, so they very much like to eat fruit. So you'll often find them around sycamore figs or jackalberry trees, which there are a lot of here, and the occasional mashatu. And then down at the bottom, I've actually seen this one here at Karongwe before. It's such a special bird. The oh tambourine duck. Have you seen that bird here? And I promise you, it was amazing. No one believed me, but I know a white breast when I see it. <laughs> Hasn't seen lots of sunlight, obviously. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a guide show turn, you know. <laughs> this bird looks like it's got a really funny tail. Ah, oh, the maqua dove. But they, I think you only see these certain times of the year. Or do you uh, see them all? No, if you look over here. Oh, you see them all? The, is that residents. What that, is that what this green thing is yes. for? Oh, my The word. green means that they live here all the time. So this blue spot of wood dove, like, I'm not going to see that. No. Yeah, in South Africa. No, we definitely not. I think up in Zambia, you can maybe see it. Maybe? This makes so much sense now. Thank you for explaining that to me. It's a pledge, Trej. Right, let's go to 272 because I've already lost my place. It's 259. Reading numbers upside down is a lot harder than you Ooh, would I think. Oh, I like those birds. They are I like nice. Oh, I like those okay, birds. But let's go to the barbets, which I absolutely love. And you can see, look at its robust bill. That's a big bill. <laughs> this is a big bill. Yeah. Do you know one. many bulls? Well, maybe like a robert. But the two barbets that we see on a regular basis is the crested barbet and the bad-colored barbet. Um, they also like to eat fruit. 
and it is this one you have to know the call if you're going to come and do an apprentice field guide course with us one of the calls you have to know but they know. also call together it's yes. a duet often it's not just one bird Two, i mean most especially people make that mistake especially everyone talks about black collared barbet but most people think it's one bird it's never one it's bird. never one bird it's always two two birds that's a really important thing two to birds know. again see kill two birds with one stone so, i mean no we don't do bricking anymore oh yeah no more bricking we yeah, spoke that's, about that that's a frowned upon subject okay. Yeah. I mean, there's a oh, couple. Oh, what are these ones? These look like the same as these. Yes. Well, you get tinkerbirds as well. Oh, you but get... this one says it used to be called a barbet. Oh, yes, it was a tinker barbet. Now it's a tinkerbird. So okay, okay. we typically see not the red one, the yellow fronted. Okay. I think that's a bit quick, though. My pace might be off. But it's also in like fours and fives. Yes. And that... the red front, it's like. It doesn't stop. They call that the suicide bird, I think. They do call it the mm. suicide bird. Yeah. Sounds like a bomb's about to. Oh! oh God, that was a little explosion. scary. <laughs> <laughs> I think the cameraman got a fright. <laughs> oh, you're out there. Cameraman, did you get a fright? He's shaking, he's shaking his head. Shaking I think his he got, boots. I think he got a little bit. He got a fright. fright. Okay. When you're in the river, birding, yeah. looking for specific type of birds, we're mm -hmm. focusing on bull, what they eat, eat, types of water, type of nesting. Yeah. We know that the the Franklin's like to list, ne list, lay, rest, nest, all the same. Yeah, lay, rest, thing. nest, and on the ground. On the ground. They like know. to eat grass seeds. Yeah, like this time of the oh, insects. The grass seeds. We need to show them the grass seeds. So tell me, why does your one look different to my one? Well, it's definitely not because Terry has pulled all the seeds off, but most likely oh, because. Off. The Franklin. <laughs> Those friendly Franklins that we saw earlier, the like our, basically our best buddies. Basically our I best mean, they're, friends. They're following us around. They do follow us. Anyways, those were crested Franklins, and at this time of the year, when the grasses are producing their seeds, they're so full of nutrient, and they are so delicious. Trust me, buffalo grass, panic and maximum. Do you just have to throw? Let me have name. some. Careful the tick. Careful the tick. Oh, well, I'm not going to eat the tick. Okay. But can I just have some more? Taylor really likes this. Hungry, I'm not lunch it. I'm with okay, anyway, But as away. you can see, my piece of grass has got lots of seeds on them. Mm -hmm. Taylor's piece of grass does not. I've lost it also. It's gone now. But it wasn't very nutritious because mm -hmm. it was all gone. No, but the Franklins really like this grass. So do you. Yeah. And me. And Taylor. Biggest competition for birds out there. I eat all the seeds. It's awkward. Why? You can't eat the bird seeds. 100% can, and I will fight them for marudas and jackalberries and anything else that tastes nice. You're even in the bush. eating the kudu poo, I mean, we really can't take it. I anything. only ate one, yeah. and now you're never gonna let it go. All right. Thank you so much for watching again. It was great to have you all, and I hope you enjoyed that one and learned a little bit more about the shape of birds' beaks and what they eat and where you can also find them. But um, yeah, you can do some self-study at home, browse through the pages, a lot of information available in these books, and get those bird numbers up. Walk around with your binoculars. It's called a life list, people. Life list, add it. Again, something that you can do from your garden at home. Maybe like comment and let us know what birds you're seeing. Yes. What? Like, that sounds awesome. Please let us know what yes. types of birds you're seeing at home. Like we'd love to know. I uh, you know what, I'm actually going to lose sleep at night if you do not comment. Like, you have to comment. You have Please to comment. leave us a comment. Also, just like our page. Yeah, like it, share it. Like I said, send it to everybody. I say this every episode and I'm going to say it for every episode. <laughs> just in case on. you don't get all the way to the end of the video. In case you forget. But you got to get to the end of the video because this is where the funny stuff happens. Yeah, this is where you think we're done. But we're not. But wait, there's more. <laughs> it's basically an information. Tell them my fart at the end of the video. That was you the last time. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> cheers. Watch the next episode.